Now let us solve the next question. In a set of four integers, the average of two smallest integers is one or two. The average of three smallest integers is one or three, and the average of all four is one at four. Then what is the greatest integer? So the in a set of four integers, the average of two smallest integers is one or two. The average of three smallest integers is one or three, and the average of all the four integers is one or four. Then we have to find the greatest integer of all the four integers. So let the four integers be a, b, c, d. Let the four integers. B, a comma b comma c comma d, where a less than b less than c less than d means here the a is the least one and d is the greatest one. Now according to the question, the average of two smallest integers is one or two. So then average of two smallest integers means. average of two smallest integers equals to 1 or 2 so then a plus b by 2 equals to 1 or 2 from this we get a plus b equals to by cross multiplication 1 or 2 into 2 we get 2 not 4 and the average of three smallest integers equals to one or three. So then three smallest integers means a, b and also c. Then we get a plus b plus c by the number of integers is three. So by three equals to it is given that 1 or 3 by cross multiplication we get a plus b plus c equals to 3 into 1 or 3 309 this is second equation and the average of all four into s equals to 1 or 4 then a plus b plus c plus d by all the four integers means 4 equals to 1 or 4 now by cross multiplication we get a plus b plus c plus d equals to 4 into 1 and 4 4 and 1 16 this is equation 3 now to get the greatest integer d then we subtract second equation from the third equation so then we get equation 3 minus equation 2 so then a plus b plus c plus d equals to 416 near a plus b plus c equals to 309
when we subtract we change the sign of the second expression each term now plus a minus a cancel plus b minus b get cancel plus c minus c get cancel then we get d equals to 16 minus 9 7 0 4 minus 3 1 so yeah, d is the greatest integer therefore the greatest of all four integers equals to 107 now let us see the next question rice consumed in a school under the midday meal program for five consecutive days is 15.750 kilograms 14.850 kilograms 16.500 kilograms 14.700 kilograms and 17.700 kilograms so find the average rice consumption for the five days so to find the average rice consumption for the five days so we have to find the arithmetic mean of the given observations so then arithmetic mean equals to sum of all observations by number of observations then arithmetic mean equals to sum of all observations means here 15.750 plus 14.850 plus 16.500 plus 14.700 plus 17.700 divided by 5 so this equals to 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 then 5 plus 5 10 10 0 plus 1 plus 7 8 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 5 21 21 plus 7 28 28 plus 7 35 3 plus 5 8, 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 6 18, 18 plus 4 22, 22 plus 7 29, 2 plus 1 3, 3 plus 1 4, plus 1 5, plus 1 6, plus 1 7 by 5. So then if we cancel 5 ones are 5 and 5 ones are 5, 2 is the remainder 29, 5 5 is a 25 point. 4 remainder 45, 5 nines are 45, 0, 0. So then we get 15.900 kilograms. So this is the average, average rice consumption for the 5 days in the midday meal program. Now let us learn the second type of representative value that is the mode. So the first type of representative value is the arithmetic mean or mean or simply average. Now the second type of representative value of the given set of observations is the mode. Now let us see what is the mode. Now, for example, if a shopkeeper wants to find out which type of aisle packet he has to stock more in number. So for this he collects the information of the aisle packet sold in the last week in such a way that in a table so first we take the type day and here we take the number of aisle packets sold so here G means groundnut aisle 
and S means sunflower oil and P means palm oil in oil packet so on the first and one day he has sold two packets of groundnut oil and three packets three packets of sunflower and one packet of palm oil in oil packet and tuesday then wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and the tuesday has sold one packet of groundnut and two packets of sunflower oil and two packets of palm oil next wednesday next thursday next friday next saturday and sunday also it is given that now if you find the arithmetic mean of the all the oil packets but there is no use so if you find the type of oil packet which sold most frequently so if you find this groundnuts so it is sold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so groundnuts there are 12 packets of groundnuts and sunflower 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, there are 25 packets of sunflower sold in the last week. And the palm oil in oil packets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, even palm oil in oil packets also 12. But he sold sunflower oil packets more in number so then he has to stock the sunflower oil packets for the subsequent week so then the mode of the observations is 25 that is sunflower that is 25 now next we write the mode definition the most frequently occurred value in the given data is called the mode the most frequently occurred value in the given data is called the mode